Have you learned what it means to be ghosted? I recently did, and I guess I also learned I have been ghosted. Go figure. You may have been as well and didn't know that's what it was called. Ghosting is breaking off a relationship by stopping all communication and contact with the person without any apparent warning or justification, as well as ignoring the person's attempts to reach out or communicate. So, to be ghosted is to be treated this way in a relationship. It could be a romantic relationship, friendship, or really any sort of relationship. Bottom line, communication stops. The person is MIA and the relationship is done. The tough part to accept is you can't do one thing about it. The person doing the ghosting instigates this behavior by secluding, removing contact, and pretty much dissolving any chance to connect, discuss, or resolve. Now, I'm a communicator. I value the process of sending and receiving messages with the mutual goal of clear understanding, intent, and purpose. When one party ends that abruptly and walks away, that's a tough one for me because I love people and don't want them to end a relationship with me. It's brutal. You basically get ignored and ultimately cut out of someone's life. Why does it happen? How could someone simply check out of a relationship or community? It's interesting to say the least, and often those behaviors and actions are the fruit of something deeper. But bottom line, you can't control the actions, thoughts, and motives of others. All I can do is follow the guidance of Romans 12, 18, and do all I can on my part to pursue and live at peace with others. That's how we are to respond when we get ghosted. So what if we are the ones doing the ghosting? And what if the one we are ghosting is God? Have you ever been guilty of ghosting God? Walking away from God has serious implications. Mark 8, 38. If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. Strong words from Jesus right there. Deny me or my words, you will be denied. The root of denying God is a spirit of pride and rebellion. It began in the garden. It's not new. When we turn to our own way and turn away from God's way, we are guilty of ghosting God. Thinking we can make it on our own, we make ourselves God. We cut off communication, withdraw from community, and kick God to the side. That path does not lead to life. Don't ghost the creator of all things. He loves you and knows you best and has a perfect will and plan for your life. Drop the chains and shame you carry and follow him. Don't ignore that still small voice. Lean into that relationship. Dig into the word of God. Pray and unload the burdens you carry. As you do, your heart will be lighter, your joy will be full, and your life will have purpose like you've never known because it's found in Him. That's the truth. Don't go ghosting God. Seek, find, and connect with Him today. I'm Lori Klein.